what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, Manny Pacquiao reveals what's his biggest uphill battle to defeat Earl the Truth Spence, the unified WBC IBF world to weight champion of the world. Let's talk about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video, check out the world to weight boxing playlist. And Manny Pacquiao says, I need to have, excuse me, stamina for Spence. Ensure I don't fall short. Okay. Uh, let's read a shout out to, I can't pronounce his name on boxing. He wrote it. Uh, Make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. We come in just like a live stream. Share the video if you haven't. Like what you hear, subscribe. This is Earl Spence. Excuse me, something on my face. Earl Spence wound up winning Pacquiao sweepstakes at WBC and IBF welterweight champion. Spence will face boxing only eight division champion Manny Pacquiao. Excuse me, Jesus. Manny Pacquiao. 67, 7, and 2, 39 KOs on August 21st at the T Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, excuse me. On Spy Sports pay per view. My damn face. Uh, Filipino Senator, first future first ballot Hall of Famer, entertained facing the likes of Conor McGregor, Terrence Crawford, Mikey Garcia, Ryan Garcia, before uh, slinging out the Spence, one of the sports pound for pound best. Quote I'm not like some other guys who are in it for money, Pacquiao told uh, Pino uh, Program Power and Play, a show hosted by former PBA Commissioner Noli Elia. Quote, some other fighters challenge non-boxers just to get paid. I want to fight. I want to challenge the best. Continue, quote, if I'm fighting for the money, uh, then I would have I would have picked some scrub to fight. Why why would I try to fight? Why why would I try to fight an undefeated fighter if I'm chasing a pay, paycheck? This is the real fight. I fight because it's my passion. I love beating undefeated fighters and bringing honor to my country. Quote, I picked among Crawford, Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia, we came up with the decision to fight Earl Spence, but I thought Crawford fight would also be good since he's also undefeated. Pacquiao's remarks uh, served as rebuttal to Floyd Mayweather's recent statement. Money Mayweather picked picked on Pacquiao ahead of his promotion of the Logan Paul exhibition, said the Filipino was forced to fight for financial reasons. So was you. You ain't coming back fighting for just cause. Okay. Quote. He said, um, quote, when I come and do an exhibition or come out of boxing and have some fun, I do it because I want to do it, not because I have to do it, Mayweather said at the time. Whereas Pacquiao, at his age, is sad that he has to fight on financially set. I want to let everybody know this. He's not, if you come back doing hard labor for money. The 42-year-old Pacquiao has not fought since 2019 when he scored a spiritual, a spirited, excuse me, split decision over Keith. One time Thurman in January the same year, Pacquiao bested Adrian Broner via unanimous decision. Quote, I need to have stamina and good conditioning for the Spence fight, said Pacquiao. In this fight, you have to expect more action in the ring compared to my last three fights. I have to make sure that my stamina is enough and so I don't fall short fall short in, in all 12 rounds. Pacquiao will be fighting for the first time in 25 months, but he will be will he be fighting for the final time in his legendary career. It's hard to say right now. It could be, but it also could be more fights after this said. He said, I'm taking it one, one at a time. We can't tell the future. So, like I said, if he come back and win this belt, bro, and he probably fight Ugas, I think it's a good chance you could see him fighting Terrence Crawford for all the belts. You're not going to just get two belts and not try to get the other two, you know. And, you know, this is the pageantry and the greatness of boxing. If he could be you know, the oldest, oldest four belt plus the ring belt, five belt, you know, undisputed champion, that's just as important as eight division champion, you know, especially – they doing violin that can put that can put shit to uh shit to rest about, you know, him being on this and him being on that, but he right. You know, he can't just pick his spots versus Earl Spence. Earl Spence is a busy fighter, Earl Spence is a volume fighter. People got this imagination that Earl Spence is this is this monstrous puncher and he's not. You know, he used to be when he's fighting that lower level competition to tell you a great puncher, are you hurting, you know, buzzing, stopping, knocking down, knocking out, you know, top fighters. And that's the thing, bro. When you can knock out guys or hurt guys at this level, you know, then you're a great puncher. Then you Thomas Hearns. Then you Julian Jackson. Then you, you know, you know, you great fighters like that, man. But um, you know, it's hard to knock out a level, the elite level fighters. Those who do, you know, one they know how to finish. 
they're aggressive, and they got power. Back on fire. But um, it's going to be an interesting fight. He right. He's going to have to have the best conditioning. He got to turn the clock back and be the old Manny Pacquiao and move and throw a thousand shots, you know, and take advantage of Earl Spence. Earl Spence is pretty much tailor-made for him. If he was younger, he would he probably stop or he probably beat the shit out of Earl Spence in 12 rounds. Earl Spence kind of is a fighter that the only difference between him and Margarito is he more athletic, he more technical. Well, he a lot better than Margarito. I'm just saying he tall, he going to the high guards, pretty much the similarities. The difference is Earl Spence more athletic, slick. His jab is the question. Back, that's going to be the huge question. Can he take away his jab? You know, but as far as him, you know, covering up and, you know, being flat-footed, that's what Pacquiao see in him. And he's going to take advantage and move off platform. And the question is, can he find spot, spots to take rest? Or can he do it all tonight? If he can do it all night and, and, and dance around Spence all night, he's going to have a lot of success. People think Spence is going to come out there and just thrash him. And that could be true. But my thing is, there's a lot of deficiencies in this game. We're talking about flat foot. He's talking about going into the high guard. He's talking about he ain't never fought nobody that punched it like with Pacquiao. So, it's going to be interesting. You know, but Spence, it could be a retirement party. Spence could come out there and dominate Euro Spence. But my thing, uh, Pacquiao could dominate Spence. My thing is, he has not shown the ability to separate from everybody else in that division. As far as Garcia, Thurman, that's my concern. A lot of people confident that he's going to go out there and thrash Manny Pacquiao. My thing is this. He is, he is, he's not showed he's no different from Sean, who used to be a Pacquiao sparring partner, chief sparring partner. He's shown no ability he's different than Keith Thurman or Denny Garcia. So we'll see. We'll see. But styles do make fights. And I think his jab, his jab is gonna be his huge, his biggest attribute. Um but then again, that's if Pacquiao take away that jab, I think I think and he can keep and don't get caught. I think, oh shit. I don't think Spence punched that hard. It's a reason why people don't go to Pacquiao's body. If he can take away the jab, Pacquiao gonna win. Simple as that. If he can't take away the jab, Earl Spence is gonna cruise to a decision or knock Pacquiao out. It's as simple as that. But of course, if he if he if he don't have the stamina, Earl Spence is gonna be on top of him. He he stopped moving and sitting in front of Earl Spence. It's nothing he can do. You know, his biggest thing is how do I take away that jab, you know, and how do I get Earl Spence respect? You know, and that's gonna be the test. When Earl Spence get hit with something he he get he get hurt with, is he gonna have a poker face like he had in the past or is he gonna get hurt? It's gonna be an interesting fight. People think Pacquiao gonna come in here. And lay down. I, Pacquiao got a great chance winning this fight, cause I don't, I don't, I don't rate Spence high, like everybody else. I don't rate him like he's an elite, cause he's not. He hasn't separated from the pack. But at the same time, I can see Spence throwing him out the ring, beating his ass like Rock like Hulk Hogan through Rocky Balboa. But it's interesting. It's interesting. But I do think Earl got the edge. Youth, length, athleticism. You know, he young. It's a good fight, but. Of course, Pacquiao needs stamina. Excuse me. Of course, of course, he needs stamina, man. Because even though Spence is starting to get tired in fights, for whatever reason it may be, may it be weight drainage or may it be, uh, you know, maybe he doing something different in training or whatever it may be, you know, he getting tired. But it's going to be interesting. Because Danny said his physical strength is... Uh, his physical strength is uh is 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 is, is great, you know. He says he's the strongest fighter he fought. As far as pressure pushing him back, and he's very technical, you know. He's very technical, so it's gonna be interesting. But Pacquiao gotta be on his P's and Q's. But like I said, I don't think Spence hit hard. I think he hit hard to the body. But I don't, I don't think I don't think I don't think it's gonna be unless he control real estate. I don't think it's gonna be a lot of body punching, especially later on. But if he can control his length and his distance, he's going to probably gonna stop him to the body. He probably going to stop him to the body if he can control the distance. But it's going to be about Pacquiao getting on the inside and, you know, running his hands, running his combinations and all that shit. But, um, yeah, Pacquiao going to need that. Uh, Pacquiao going to need that uh, conditioning. Most people say he's probably thinking he's going to uh, go on that orange juice. That's what everybody probably thinking right now. Pacquiao about to go on that orange juice. That's something you like. <laughs> That's what everybody thinking, man. Hilarious, though, man. But if Earl Spence don't cover his P's and Q's, that's on Earl Spence. I don't want to hear no bitching, no complaining, 
No crying. I don't, don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear him going into Wilder mode and how he lost his shit and all this, that, and the third. I don't want to see that. I want to see him, if he lose, take his L like a man and move on. That's it, man. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquire, response, your video request, all my social media links, description. Faster reach me is Twitter, than Facebook, than Instagram. Facebook group link there as well, too. All the social media links there. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJGood313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Peace. Belief about no, I'm on the phone. Yeah, yeah. You're looking at my baby. No, no. No, I ain't looking at him, right? I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. Finish. All right, man. Next time we come outside, don't be staring and shit like that. I don't like that. I wasn't looking at him. All right, appreciate everybody for supporting the channel, man. Everybody that been here since day one. But if you want to continue to support the channel, you want to continue seeing me go to these fights, man. Um, I appreciate it if you do donate to the channel. Now you have several ways to donate, and you can like the channel, you can share the channel, um, you can subscribe to the channel. Most of you guys do that on everything. But financially, if I'm a go to Wilder Fury, Spence Pacquiao, and all the big fights, and I'm only entertaining going to go into the big, I'm only interested in going to go into the big fights. I'm gonna need you guys' support. You can reach me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Anytime for any you know advice or you want to advertise your business on channels another way you help support the channel. I do want to work with businesses and all that. But if you want to make a donation, donation, cash app is CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link is in the description as well, too. Appreciate it. Peace.